Welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you about Barcelona. It is impossible to meet a person who has not heard of Barcelona. Its claim to be the most beautiful city in the world has been hotly contested for centuries. Great minds have been born and died here, leaving behind works of art that have inspired people all over the world. Barcelona is not a Spanish resort where you can relax and unwind during your vacation. After a week or two in Barcelona, even vibrant Valencia will seem too quiet and measured. There's no off-season in this city, as tourists flock here at all times. The best time to visit Barcelona is between May and September, when the weather is warm enough to enjoy the city's famous beaches without having to worry about the crowds. The weather in Barcelona is very different from that of other holiday destinations in Spain. Summers are hotter and winters are colder than usual. However, May and September have pleasant temperatures, making them ideal for a family vacation. Don't visit Barcelona in summer if you value your health. The city is huge, and it's easy to pass out from the heat and humidity. There are luxurious suites as well as more modest apartments, each with a bed and a single meal. Villas, campgrounds, and hostels are other common types of accommodations in Barcelona. The difference in price and quality of service between hotels with different star ratings is significant. Not surprisingly, Barcelona's beaches are always crowded. Nevertheless, most tourists do not pay attention to it. The peculiarity of the coastline of Barcelona is that it is both peripheral and central part of the city. The most famous beach, Barcelonita, is in the center of the action. Entrance to all city beaches is free, but you have to pay 5 to 6 euros for the use of sunbeds and umbrellas. The number of excursions in Barcelona is staggering. There are man-made and organic attractions. Obviously, the first are preferable. For example, the Gothic Quarter is a whole area of Barcelona where all the buildings are from the Middle Ages and have been preserved in their original form. Tours of Barcelona can be done not only on foot, but also by car or bus. In Barcelona, Edmund Indes designed either Casa Mila or La Pedrera. Gouda's last contribution to civil construction was this iconic structure. The house was built between 1906 and 1910. A number of advanced design concepts were used in the construction of the Casa Mila residence. The architecture of the building reflects the most notable of these. Gaud repeatedly noted that the layout of the house was so efficient that it could be turned into a hotel. The house has its own unique ventilation system. There is even a garage. Although they weren't included in the blueprints for Casa Mila, elevators are now a common feature. They were installed after the home was already built. Amad Alvarez, Barcelona's Spanish Quarter, Pobal Espanol. Visitors to Barcelona who are still at a loss as to what to do with their time should head to the Spanish village. The city's residents are its artisans and craftspeople. It's been transformed into a massive museum where anyone interested in local architecture may go and study it for free. There are several cafes, restaurants, and shops inside the museum. Exciting performances and shows are frequently held. Nearly every significant item of Spanish architecture is represented in the Spanish village. It's fascinating that this landmark may be found right in the middle of the contemporary megalopolis. Legend has it that Hercules established the city of Barcelona some 400 years before the founding of Rome. Another popular myth claims that Hannibal's legendary father, Carthaginian general Hamilcar Barca, established the city in the 3rd century. Which one is right? It's difficult to say. Subscribe and like my channel. I'm happy to try for you.
See you in the next video.